Hey everybody, welcome back to the second installment of my Google AdSense training course. Now the last video I actually talked to you guys about signing up for Google AdSense and I showed you the process. Also how you can insert your code into your header tags on your website so that way you can get your account activated. Now, um, I'm going to show you because I, yes, I would have to wait a day or so for the, the account to say it's activated which more than likely it will not say that because of the fact that it's just a capture page it's not really a lot of content on there and Google AdSense prefers you to have a lot of content on your website and continuous content at that just so that way you can get your ads placed on there and everything so I already know for a fact that that site is going to be denied but I'm going to show you the emails that I received from my last from when I had set up um, my Google AdSense with the Haitian mogul uh, more specifically, with uh, with my other site that I had was joinmcatotalsecurity.com, and I had to take that down because, of course, MCA uh, they requested it to be taken down because the name MCA was actually in the title, it was in the site, which it had crazy thing about it. it was actually up for almost a year before they actually did that. But nonetheless, it doesn't really stop anything. I still make money off the site. I still make money off of my other sites. So I'm going to show you exactly what the project is. This is what you're going to see when you apply for Google Assets. Now, this is the first email that you received. Well, hold on. This is the email that I received now. Okay, so you get activated, right? And this is through the one that I just created with you guys. I'm going to go back, and it's going to. It's basically going to wait for you to to, to actually do that. Now, you get up here now. It says your site is connected. So once you actually get that, click into it. So now it tells you, of course, you can get started. And once you do that, you can go back and actually start getting your ads included into your website. Now, if your request comes back denied, like mine does, I would say if you want to avoid any kind of denial, which is also going to take more time. Go ahead and just create more content, and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm actually gonna create content as well um, with my site, and I'm gonna use um, the other. I'm gonna use my graphic site to show you guys how to do that. Because as of right now, I have a bunch of blogs that goes to my Haitian mogul page, and that actually is the one that gets a lot of more hits than anything else. So when it comes to, um, to when it comes to the graphics page, I'm actually gonna go ahead and upload all of my old videos on there that'll help me create more content and more and more uh blog posts so that way of course you can get seen more online and also be act be approved quicker with Google Adsense. So if you were denied, this is what you're gonna see right here for the most part. They'll let you know exactly what the issue is as far as why you are denied. So with mine, this will start off because it was sufficient content. So make sure that you get a lot of content on there. You get your sites with, with a bunch of text. Make sure you have your images. And they say if videos or flash animations will not be approved. So that's why it's very important to include your text. Now I want to show you guys an example of my blog. And show you guys a post. Now, like I told you I use my YouTube videos for this, but it is very important that you also have your um, you also have your text included in it as well. As you can see, for example, this one right here, there's a bunch of text in here, which also has a bunch of links. But you also want to make sure that there's images and there's text. Now, at one point, I did have uh, my magazine connected to this because I was able to actually uh, use it to also earn me money but because I don't have the magazine anymore it's uh, obviously I can't make the money off of that so what I've been doing because I'm going to rebrand that site uh, I will be adding it on there later so ultimately I want to have at least cause I want them to be things that I actually love doing so I have my Haitian mogul, have my graphic site, and I'll add the magazine later onto it. Now I might create another site as well, but uh, not really sure what it will be yet. If anything, it might just be another blog site or something like that. But something that can really run on autopilot, so where I don't have to do much work but still make money off of it. And that's something else that I also show you in the advanced training is basically how to create a a blog site 
on autopilot by by using RSS feeds and there's basically links from various companies various websites that you can actually compile to make your own um, make your own statements or make your own posts and then of course use pictures to to your advantage so that way you can get approved and continue to make money and get hits on that site you know, as you can see this is the site this is the image that goes with it of course this is the video that goes with it as well and I also have my information at the bottom so that people can check that out now um, when it comes to this again if you don't have a lot of videos you can actually create to actually type in your blog post so that you don't have to worry about that actually have to be videos but this is just for people who have videos our YouTube channel so that way they can actually include it in there um, but for me I just do both I actually need to do more written out blogs so I will definitely be adding more of those to my site but in the meantime I just right now I've been using my YouTube channel and of course you put you make sure you have a very descriptive dis description so that way you can get more hits and get approved okay so let me see let's go back alright so that's that part and then once you get up here, you'll see. Once you finally do add the, the right things, this is going to be the site that you're going to the, the email that you're going to receive that says it's been approved, so that you can show the ads on your site. Now, I actually have um, a video that actually just finished a three-part series on when I actually set up my graphics website and put ads on there. So I will definitely um, be including that in this series, so that way you guys can see. But for the most part, what I'll do is right now I'm going to go through and show you the different setup that you can actually use from your site. So if you have Google, if you have WordPress, let's go to your WordPress first of all. And I'm just going to show you because I, I, I prefer you use WordPress if you're going to be using this for Google AdSense. And there are a few plugins that you'll definitely need to get. So if you want to go ahead and write these down. And I'm gonna search them with you up here. So you go to your WordPress. Okay. Go to add new for the plugins. Now the plugins that you definitely need to get. If you search, it will be the Google AdSense dashboard. Hold on, move too quick. Which is this right here? Okay. Then you also want to get type in Google Ads. You're gonna get the Ad Inserter, which is this right here. And you also want to get the Easy Google Adsense, which is this right here. Now, once you do get that. When you get set up, let's go to the other file. You will go to your settings so you can you can include your Google AdSense information and basically connect your site to it. That'd be the only way your ads can show up. So with this one, <laughs> which is crazy because I thought I actually included it. Um, oh, that's why it hasn't. Been. Okay, so with this one, come up here, go to your once you actually once you get your account set up. You go up here and you go to your click on settings. It's gonna be under account information. Copy the publisher ID, come down here and save changes. Okay, and once you do that, that one is actually good to go. Then you go to your earnings dashboard. This one, you it would be an option right here to authorize uh, to, to access the authorization, which is gonna which is also in my other video. Um, I'll link those two so that way you guys can see. Excuse me. And then from there, you'll be able to also be connected through that. Then also, you want to have your ad inserted. Now, not all you're not gonna necessarily need to use this because with me, 
I use my widget. So if you depending on what kind of theme you have, it all depends on what kind of if you're gonna have to really use your widgets, if you're gonna have to use the add inserter, if you can actually be able to insert the codes or however. As you can see, this one doesn't have any code included in it. But if I go to my graphics page, that one does have the code inserted in it. What was it again? Come on, made me look bad. There we go. So now let's go to to begin more searches. Which I'm also going to show you guys how to get found online more through SEO. SEO site for Google AdSense. Tags, keywords, etc. Okay, so let me show you. Settings and add insert. All right. As you can see, I have these ads placed in here. Now this is where I put the code at. And once you get to your page, once you get into your Google AdSense. You'll come up here, you actually go to my ads. And creating an ad is pretty simple. So you do uh, add units. These are the ads I've created and the days that they were created in. And then I'll click a new add unit. Now we could actually select any of these. Like I said, I actually have more description of them in the next one. So what I'll end up probably doing is uh, I might need to go ahead and close this one out, so that way you guys can see exactly how to insert these ads. All right, so I'll, I'll go ahead and stop this video, and on the next one you'll see how to insert the ads.